everyone, a very good afternoon live here from the Expo 2020 Dubai site. My name is Abdul Karim Hanif reporting for Khalij Times and right behind me is the Pakistan Pavilion and I've got, I'm going to get my first stamp from this young lady here. Thank you very much. Oh, first page as well. Touchdown Pakistan and to talk to us a little bit more about the Pakistan Pavilion we have Mr. Abdul Razak Dawood who is a special advisor to the Prime Minister on all things commerce. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam. Good to have you with us. You know it's a great pleasure to be here to uh, walk through the pavilion uh, with you. It's absolutely fantastic. Why no is you've got the hit it is defined as the hidden treasures of Pakistan. That's right. Talk to us about the design because it looks very glittery. This design, uh, we have a, uh, you can call it an artist, yeah. uh, Rashid Rana. He will be coming in the next couple of hours uh, and, uh, and I think you should interview him. It is his creation. What he was saying that um, these pieces, there are 24,000 pieces. Wow. And all of them have been individually made, placed, and they're not all. They look all of the same size, but they're not. Uh, and um, he said, I want to have an array of colors in it, which depicts uh, our country. Mm -hmm. uh, vast uh, array of uh, colors. So this is what it is. And the other thing is, you see, well, if you come at um, uh, Maghrib time, uh, okay. then the colors will slightly change. Wow. Amazing. Uh, and then when it gets dark, it will change again. Brilliant. Looks amazing. Yes. I'll, we'll walk through now, yes. join the public, and yes. it, it, it's amazing to see how there's a, a very Mughali entrance. Absolutely. What's yes. the purpose behind that? Uh, that? What it is, is we're trying to, it is in what we said, it's an inner journey, mm -hmm. and uh, to see the hidden treasures of Pakistan. Amazing. And uh, so when you, as you enter, you're coming to the beginning of uh, our history. And this is the Mughal period. Yes. This is even earlier than the Mughal period. Oh, wow. Now you see the Indus Valley civilization, the Merdar civilization, and one other thing I must say, this is not a, a pastry. It is actually drawn on this board by hand. Amazing. It is actually drawn. This is incredible. So all of these pieces here that we see, yeah. the historical artifacts, all That's right. drawn by hand. That, and it's, 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 it's just, by the same artist? No, not with the same somebody artist. else. Yeah. And then it shows that the a period when Alexander the Great came to Pakistan, to our area, and then when the Arabs arrived, then when the uh, uh, British arrived. So it's showing the whole history. Amazing. And on this side, this what you what you covered there is actually this is in the footsteps of the thing. Same, same. This is the. Uh, uh, I want to. There is one particular uh, uh, shot I really want you to see. Okay. Uh, it'll come in a few minutes. It's a beautiful scene. Absolutely, you'll be. The colors of the head it is. Now this look one? at it. this one. Look at it. Just look at that. It is a lie. It is the a painting which was done by an artist at that time, and we just copied it. Amazing. You know what? My favorite part is the next door where you have yeah. the the touristy hotspot because yeah. you know nowadays we see there's a change in visa reforms. Yeah. You know, people have been offered easier yeah. visas to and come then, in. For we're coming to our area of um, our tourists. Now it's showing the um, what beautiful sights. Just look at this. What beautiful sights and uh, um, the range of of um, our landscape that we have. Amazing. We have, we need to exploit. Just look at these volcanoes. 
Small one. Lovely. I want to touch upon this aspect of tourism. How, to what extent has it been an untapped potential and what oh, changes have you seen in, with Pakistan? The, in Pakistan? Tourism, vastly untapped. And what's being done by the government? To now we've it? started. Okay. The Prime Minister is pushing. Today, tourism in Pakistan is picked up to such an extent that no hotel rooms. It's so, so, so busy. And there are two parts to it. Okay. One is the natural beauty and people can go uh, hiking and that, that's one part. The other part is religious tourism. The Buddhists want to go and see their old, old uh, carvings of the Buddha. Uh, so Sikhs want to come. Uh, it's there are lots Any lots particular of demographic that you see yes. as a huge rise of European tourists? Is yes, that? yes. And now just look at this. This is a fort. And the size of this fort, it's, it's phenomenal. Oh, looks amazing. And now just in a minute, you come to, the, we're going through the plains. Look at this. And then you're going to come to the mountains. Mountains yes. uh, of, of Pakistan. Pakistan has a, uh, of the 10 highest peaks, Pakistan has eight. Amazing. So what's your personal favorite location in Pakistan? Your, your, your personal favorite spot to explore? I love the north. North, oh, yeah. yeah. Beautiful area up there. Uh, Amazing. So this is the touristy side that we see. Yeah. A bit of culture, the national. That's all our uh, thing. And then I like the, the Billion Trees initiative. I'm not sure if it pops up here. Uh, the... It's interesting, these people, mm -hmm. <laughs> the dress is here. Yes. This, when Alexandra attacked and came here, now we're coming to the religious part, showing all the different types of religions in Pakistan mm -hmm. and our culture. And what's been the response like on day one? Is it in terms of the visitors? I, I can't because, believe it. Yeah. I'm very surprised. Very surprising. Beautiful. Now, Big grand. <laughs> these are different. Uh, this is the six. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of their important shrines uh, in uh, Pakistan. Then the Christians, the church. Um, this is a very famous uh, mosque. In uh, you got you showed the uh, the Buddhist, we shown the uh, Christian, and this is for Pakistan. Uh, this is a cathedral mm -hmm. in um, Lahore. Tomb of Jahangir as yeah. well, right? Now we uh, would go across the bridge. So guys, if you listen to some of the music, very cultural music that's being played. Isn't it, isn't it very nice? This is our show, our industry, our agriculture, the world's largest uh, football manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So this is that, yeah. and these are interactive tables where Lovely. people can play. Yeah. And then Pakistan has a beautiful array of pink song and then we we're showing uh, the billion trees, isn't it? Billion yeah. trees. now um, here you can hear the, you can hear the sound of
of the bird. So when you, you see, when you cross there, yeah, the laser light, and you hear the you hear the bird sound. Wow, this 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 is a new level of interaction. Yes. So you guys, if you touch the laser, that's when you can hear the birds chirping away. <laughs> Amazing. So if you're just joining and our live video now, you look at the now we're in the water. <laughs> the reflections. The reflection and Pakistan is preserving its mangrove area. So that's what this is. Yeah. Uh, and you just keep on experiencing uh, the um, and now you come to the um, end of the journey mm -hmm. and then A nice souvenir shop <laughs> we're back and this is our bazaar Lady, you must interview her. Please interview her. She is the principal curator. She organized Organized this. everything. So Beautiful. Have a few words with her. Yes, thank you. MashaAllah, just wanted to say Mubarak to you. Yes, Mubarak. It's buzzing. Yes, definitely. You should go into the cafe full. <laughs> Bazaar doing really well in every way. Just fantastic comments from yes, everyone. Yes. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, please, this is the lady who has done it all. Dana it's Joel, her right? creative mind. Amazing. It's very impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you. So now this is the... Just, this is our shops. You can buy. Just look at the colors. Very, very colorful indeed. And then... Um, and... Amazing how everyone's really checking out these items. And this is what the expo is all about. And then the, ju country. the jewelry part and whatnot. Oh, everything you see here, everything, mm. is made in Pakistan. Amazing. We did not go to a Dubai Mall and pick things up. Nothing. Everything is manufactured in Pakistan and brought out here. It's brilliant. So that's it. That's it. So lovely. I'd like to conclude this discussion yeah. about to how important is the expo for Pakistan? For us, uh, the expo is very important. Why? Several things. One is overall perception of Pakistan has not been good. So now they come through and see this, they say, oh my God, this is not the perception that we mm -hmm. had of Pakistan. So that's one part. Second part is uh, tourism. We have not been able to get our tourism up as we were talking upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the third is bringing in investment into Pakistan. We need much, much more investment. Uh, when people, I didn't sh show you upstairs, but we have a uh, auditorium where businessmen can have their interactions, uh, we have uh, uh, meeting rooms, we have business lounges, all ready for people to come and uh, do business. Brilliant. Uh, we wish, wish you all the very best in your endeavors and your uh, uh, work over here, and thank you for giving us a bit of a tour. Thank you. So guys, this was the pavilion, the Pakistani pavilion located here at the Expo 2020 Dubai site. It is in the Opportunity Pavilion, and it's a pavilion that you shouldn't miss out on because there's so many things out there to explore. Just stay tuned to khalistimes.com for more uh, pavilions and the inside uh, the country, what, what, what you can explore through this Expo 2020 Dubai. Thank you for joining us.